Hey YouTube, it's the Ivan here from Tech for Spec, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Roxio game cap if you do not have the driver disc, or maybe the Roxio program is not working on your computer, like my computer right there is a NVIDIA processor, which is not compatible with the Roxio, I thought it was, but it wasn't. But I found an alternate program that you're going to need to download in the description. You can also use the regular Roxio, this is just going to be the first part set up guys, second part, the new program I'm going to show you. But here we got the Roxio game cap. We got a six ended component cable input and output. We got the USB cable. And the third cable it comes with is the audio in and out cable. And this is the fourth cable you'll need to buy if you don't already have one. Is the PS3 RGB cable. Make sure you get a five ended cable. I will put the link for you down in the description. It's about two dollars, three dollars on eBay. This is very important. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the Roxio game cap. Set the camera down here. All right, so first and foremost, let's just plug up the USB cable already. Pretty simple. Now is the rest of the connectors, so we're going to do audio. All right, you're going to need to get on the back of the rock show where the USB goes. You're going to need to get this two-ended audio in and out cable. Plug that in to there and plug that into there. And then you're going to need this dual-ended YPBR cable. Plug blue to blue. Plug red to red. And green to green. Although, yeah, that's green. It looks kind of gray, but it's green. And now you're going to need to get your PS3 or Xbox. In this case, I'm using a PS3. Your five-ended RGB cable. And go to the front of the game cap and you're going to need to separate the two audio outputs there's a little rubber nub on it there should be so you don't plug those into the video plug red to red plug green to green and plug blue to blue pretty self-explanatory and do the same thing with the audio input and now you're all connected well at least to the game cap so now we're going to bring it over to the PlayStation or Xbox, whatever you're using. If you're using the PlayStation, you're going to need to go through settings and change something because the PlayStation needs to detect what kind of cable you're using. Go ahead and place the rock seal somewhere reachable to the PlayStation. You're going to grab the end with the PS3 connector or Xbox connector and plug it up to the back of your PS3. That's not my PS3, that's just a little desk fan I have going if you're wondering what that noise is. Once that's all plugged up, you can might as well hide the cords down the side. And now plug it up to the TV. Make sure you don't lose the USB cable while you do this. Alright, we're going to bring it around the TV just so the cords don't hang out everywhere. And I apologize for the poor lighting back here, but if you're using a pair of Tritons or Turtle Beaches, you can still use them, but the Roxio game cap will not record your voice. So go on ahead and just plug those in, you know, where it has the little output on the back of them. I'm going to plug those into the audio output of your TV. And then this is, I'm not going to plug my Tritons up yet. But let me zoom in. Those two at the bottom for me are my audio outputs. So let me plug up red to red and white to white. Make sure it's in. Now get your component cables and plug them into right there. Obviously red to red. Green to green and blue to blue this is very difficult to do with one hand all right i think i got it so now is when you come over to the playstation or actually now is when you plug in the rock show to the computer just going ahead and 
plug that up. And now is when we come over to the PlayStation. Once you're at the XMB, go down to settings and scroll down to display settings. Hit video output settings. And if you're switching from HDMI, hit component to D terminal. And then select change. And now quickly switch to the YPBR, whatever YPBPR on your TV. It's gonna look kind of fuzzy at first. Select the S, and then select everything except for 1080p because your Roxio will not let you play in 1080p, but it'll let you play in 1080i, which I never really understood. Now it should switch up and the quality will look much better. Select the S again, hit enter, and hit finish. Or we'll actually go to audio output, actually, I mean, don't hit finish. And go to the bottom, hit audio input connector, SCART slash AV multi. And hit enter, and now your audio should be working. So now we have the Roxio all set up. We're going to head over to the computer. Once you've downloaded and installed that program called Virtual Dub, you're going to go to the top and go to device and find your game capture device, Dazzle, whatever. This is the Roxio. Select it, and you might get a blank screen. If you do, oh, never mind, it just loaded up. Now we got the PS3 screen displaying on my computer. But if you're getting like fuzzy lines going crazy, go down to video, go down to video source, and then select video serial digital. But if it's not going crazy, statically fuzzy, then just don't worry about it. So to capture, you obviously select capture at the top and capture video, and that's pretty much it for the setting up the Roxio without the original drivers. If you have any problems or questions, just comment in the comment section. I'll do my best to help you, and have a nice day.